Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about 10 things that make you extremely attractive to women. Okay. 10 things that make you extremely attractive to women. All right. So, you know, I'm gonna go through this list one through 10 and this is in no order of importance, but you know, I'm gonna go through them, break them down and let you know what's popping. All right. So first thing we got on the list, first thing that makes you att extremely attractive to women is your appearance, your appearance. So when I say appearance, what I mean is how you put yourself together, how you look overall, you know, that could be, you know, the way you're dressed, um, you know, the type of shoes you're wearing, the, the your haircut, um, you know, just how you appear, you understand how your clothes look on you, shit like that. You understand? The thing is your appearance. And I talked about this before your appearance makes you, if you have a good appearance, it makes women more receptive to you because when you're out there approaching women, right? For all my guys who, who aren't scared to cold approach, right? <laughs> so if you go out there and you, you, you're approaching chicks or whatever, you're talking to women, what happens is, is that when you approach a chick and she sees that your appearance is on point, she's going to be more receptive to you because women judge themselves based off of the type of guys who approach them. So a lot of times what will happen is, is that if a bummy ass dude approaches a woman, she is like instantly turned off and almost offended like dick. Cause she's thinking, damn, this is the type of motherfuckers I'm attracting. But if your appearance is on point and when you approach a chick, just based off of your appearance being on point, right? That will make a lot more women receptive to even talking to you. You see what I'm saying? So they'll be attracted just based off the, off the appearance, right? So that's number one. Second thing that's going to make you extremely attractive to women is your natural looks. You understand your natural looks. See, I think sometimes people get looks and appearance mixed up. You understand what I'm saying? When I say your natural looks, I mean, you know, how you look, your face and where your eyes and nose and mouth and, you know, how your body looks and all this other stuff, right? How you look, you understand naturally is going to make a chick attracted to you, right? And the thing, what you got to understand is is that women are going to have different types of, you know, men that they find attractive, right? So a lot of times when we talk about looks, guys always say, oh, it's all about looks. It's all about looks. And yeah, looks play a factor in attraction. But what most people don't understand or don't talk about is how subjective looks are. So how your look is, is going to look good to a certain amount of women. And it's not going to look good to a certain amount of women, right? Um, but what you can do is, is that you can do stuff like, you know, work on your body, work out, um, and do certain things to increase your looks, right? Now, this is the funny part about this whole thing when we talk about looks, is that as much as a woman will be attracted to the way you look, right? You might be, let's say, a guy who, um, let's say you're, you're like ripped, you got six pack, all that other shit. There are some women who they may think you look good, but they're not necessarily attracted to you because they're they're a little bit intimidated, meaning like they're not going to really do anything with you. They're not going to get with you. They're not going to fuck with you because, you know, you're you look almost too good. You feel what I'm saying? So they'll be attracted to you in a sense where they're like they're, you know, they're attracted in that way where they think you look good. But they're probably not going to do anything with you because they're too damn intimidated to make anything happen. You see what I'm saying? So that also happens. I just want guys to understand that. But overall, you know, based off of how you look, that's going to attract, um, you know, certain women to you because they like your look right now. The third thing that's going to make you attractive to these women is when you don't switch up for her, when you do not switch up for her. Right. So let's say, for example, you know, you are dating some chick, right? And let's say you're like clean shaven and you like to be clean shaven, right? And then she says, 
oh, you know, you would look really cute with a, a mustache and a beard, right? And then now, next thing you know, you, you end up growing a mustache and a beard because she wants you to do it, right? That's going to make you unattractive to her. Even though she's, she said you would look good in that, but, but the fact that you did it for her, you switched up for her, that's going to make her look at you funny, right? It's one thing if you got the beard and mustache because you wanted to do it, but if it's known that you did it because she wanted you to do it, like you start growing a beard or mustache, you're like, hey, look, I, you know, I, I, I heard what you were saying and I, and I grew it. Even though the whole time she was with you, you were always clean shaven and you like, and you like being clean shaven. You switched up for her now. The thing is when you do not switch up for a woman, so she could be like, oh, you would look good with a mustache. And then you, you kept your fucking shit clean shaven the whole time. That's going to make her more attracted to you. You understand? Because she sees that you do what you want to do. You're not doing what she asked you to do. You're not switching up because of her. See, when you switch up because of her, that makes you less attractive. When you stick to how you're going to do things, that makes you attractive. That makes you more attractive to these women out here. So that's, you know, number three. Now, the fourth thing we got on the list is you know how to flirt and build sexual tension. So a woman's going to find you extremely attractive if you know how to flirt and build sexual tension. All right, guys, you have to understand something. You flirting and knowing how to build sexual tension in a lot of situations is the reason why the woman is going to get dick. Okay? I want you guys to understand this. What happens is, is that a woman, a lot of times she's waiting for you to flirt with her and build that sexual tension to give her the permission to be a slut. See, a lot of times chicks want to suck your dick, but you fucking talking to them and being all platonic and shit and having regular conversations. So what happens is, is that if you don't flirt and build that sexual tension, you're not creating the environment for her to get slutty. You understand what I'm saying? For her to want to make something happen with you, right? So you flirting and building sexual tension is you leading the conversation and the interaction down a sexual path, right? And so she's going to be attracted to you because she's like, yes, I like this guy. He's flirting with me. This means that we could have some sex. See, most women aren't going to be forward about wanting to have sex with you there's a lot of times you've probably met women who wanted to have sex with you but you weren't flirting with them so therefore they weren't flirting back with you in certain situations because they was like well i don't want to seem too forward i don't want him to think i'm this way but the thing is if you start the interaction by flirting and building the sexual tension right that's going to make the woman attracted to you because you're creating that situation there's times where a woman may not have even been thinking about you know fucking with you and but because you started flirting with her and because you started building that sexual tension now she's thinking about it you see what i mean so understand that flirting and building the sexual tension is a thing that's going to make you you know extremely attractive to these women now the fifth thing that makes you extremely attractive to women is when you're honest when you're honest okay so if you're the type of guy who is actually honest with a chick that's going to make you extremely attractive to women. You have no fucking idea. You understand? You you, you guys, because I know some of y'all, y'all like, oh, I just want to lie to these girls and oh, I can't tell them what. It, no, be honest with these chicks. You understand? Because see, when you let them know what's going on and let, when you let them know, you know, what you're about and what's popping with you, what happens is, is that they usually let their guard down. Because they feel like they can, you know, trust you, basically. You understand? They, they say, okay, well, this guy is who he says he is, and this is what it is. You understand? See, this is why I'm able to have a wife, have a girlfriend, and also be with other women, and have that be a consistent thing in my life. Because when I let these chicks know, hey, this is what it is, right? They know, okay, damn, this guy, he, you know, he's letting me know what was going on. So he ain't really, he don't really need to lie to me about anything else because he already done told me like this whole situation's happening, right? And so what happens is it makes the woman trust you more. And a lot of times it makes women more honest with you. You see what I'm saying? And so women are attracted to a guy where they feel like, okay, damn, like he's just 
laying it all out on the table. This is what it is. You understand now? The thing is, when I say be honest, this still this does not mean you have to tell a woman every single fucking thing. You know, because you know guys get this confused. They're like, well, I gotta be honest. So I guess I should tell her that you know I I, I took a heavy shit this afternoon like you don't gotta do all that you understand what i'm saying what i'm saying be honest just letting her know what the deal is in the situations between you and her when y'all are fucking around right so that's number five now the sixth thing that's gonna make you extremely attractive to women is when you check them when you check a chick that's going to make you extremely attractive to a woman right now you know, on my bad boy membership program, I have a whole program on how to actually check a chick. Cause a lot of dudes think checking the chick means you gotta be a fucking, you know, crazy ass motherfucker cursing her out, doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. Nah, you ain't gotta be doing all of that. You could check a chick very calm, cool, and polite in certain ways. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing is, it's you letting her know, hey, listen, the thing you just did, that's not cool. We're not gonna do that. And, and, and is letting her know that you know that she's fucking up or she's doing some shit that she shouldn't be doing. Because a lot of times when chicks, you know, step over the line or do something, something like that where she needs to be checked, she knows she needs to be checked. And a lot of times she's seeing if you're going to actually check her. And so when you do check her, what happens is, is that it turns her on because it's a very, you know, masculine type of thing to do it's it's that that energy of listen you know i'm taking care of the situation i'm managing the situation between me and you you understand and so checking the chick is going to make her extremely attractive attractive to you now the seventh thing we have on here the seventh thing that's going to make you extremely attractive to a woman is when she knows that you'll leave at any time you understand when she knows that you'll leave at any time, right? And so what I mean is, is that she has the sense that you're not afraid to, 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 to bounce, to end it, to keep it moving, you understand? And so a lot of times what will happen is, is that when she has that sense that you're, you know, you can just leave at any time, that makes her attractive to you, attractive to you because you are the type of guy where she knows that you have options. She knows that you're not the type of guy who's going to put up with a bunch of bullshit. You understand? And she can sense that because she can see, she can feel that when she's interacting with you. You understand? Because a lot of times you ain't got to really even tell her like, hey, I'm going to leave if you do this. But she, it's like she knows. You understand what I'm saying? And this is, this is something that can't be faked. Meaning... You're, you're either that guy or you aren't. You understand? And you know if you're that guy. Right? You know you're that guy based off your level of game. You know that you're that guy based off of how confident you are. Right? And there's certain little things that go down and that happen. I could probably do a whole another video on this, but I don't want to get too deep into it now. There's a whole bunch of like little subtle things that show the woman you understand that you're the type of guy who will leave or show her you're the type of guy that's going to put up with a bunch of bullshit right but understand that when she knows that you'll leave that makes her extremely attracted to you you understand what i'm saying so that's number seven now number eight the eighth thing that makes a woman extremely attracted attracted to you is when other women want you when she sees that other women want you right See, like earlier, I was talking about being honest. See, the thing is, part of what makes or intrigues women about me a lot of times and, and wants to fuck with me is the fact that other women want me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the fact that other women want me. You know, <laughs> like I've had times where there was women that I that I was 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 with, and they would they would tell me like you know straight up like oh you know sometimes I feel like I need to fight for your time because you know you have all these other women out here and you know it's like they'll they'll say and do things that imply 
you know, or, or just directly let me know that, you know, she she understands that I got all these different women and that's part of what where the attraction is. It's like, you know, there's something about this motherfucker because all these other women want him too. You know, I want to get in on this. This fucking cool ass shit that all these other women are getting in on. Like, what am I missing? What am I missing out on? You understand? And so a lot of dudes, they'll, they'll be like, oh, you know, I'm not going to tell a, a chick that I'm messing with another chick. No, tell her you're messing with another chick. That's only going to make her want you more. You understand what I'm saying? That's only going to make her want you more. So understand that when women know that other women want you, that's going to make you extremely attractive to women. Now, the ninth thing we have here that makes you extremely attractive to women is consistency. Consistency. So when you're a consistent motherfucker, that's going to make you attractive to women. So what I mean is, let's say, for example, and I, I talked about this the other day when I was talking about, you know, how to get a chick as far as like a long term relationship or a chick to want to keep fucking with you. I was talking about the importance of, of consistency, meaning that you're the type of guy who says they're going to do something and then do it. You understand? And then you say you're going to do something else and then you do it. And you're consistent with that pattern. You understand? See, what happens is a lot of guys in the game, they think that being inconsistent is the thing that's going to make a woman be attracted to them. Right? And there are some girls who will be attracted to that inconsistency, but usually it's women who are extremely, extremely, extremely insecure. Right now, you know, most women are insecure, but I'm talking about the ones who are extremely, extremely, extremely insecure. You understand? So, yeah, you, you have some women who will respond to the inconsistency, but it's usually the extremely, extremely insecure women, which is women you, you, you shouldn't even be wanting to fuck with anyway. You know, I might have to do a whole nother video just on that of why you don't want to deal with extremely, extremely insecure women. You feel me? But the consistency is a thing that's going to make you, you know, attractive to these women. Because what happens is that if a chick likes you and, you know, she likes interacting with you and being with you, hooking up with you, whatever it is. Your consistency is something that's dependable, which makes you higher uh, in her mind than other men. You understand what I'm saying? See, a lot of guys think that the consistency is going to make the situation boring or that the girl's going to get so used to it that she's not she's going to like not be attracted to you and all that other stuff but what you have to understand is is that when the when the woman likes you and you are consistent you feel what i'm saying what happens is is that she starts to become dependent on your consistency which creates a stronger connection and attachment which then turns her into a chick who's starting to like you more and more you see what i'm saying so you know understand that consistency is a thing that will make you extremely attractive to a woman now now the thing is a lot of times if you're consistent with a chick and she's like wishy-washy or low or or she's all over the place that's just a chick that's not really feeling you anyway you feel what i'm saying so it's just no matter what the fuck you're doing at some point it's gonna fall off you feel me so that's number nine so now the last thing I have on this list, when it comes to, you know, a woman being extremely attractive to you, is when you make the game about you, okay? When you make the game about you. So I've talked about this before in a video where I was saying that, you know, the game is about you, meaning that you're not making what you're doing about her. So what happens is a lot of guys will, you know, try to figure out what the girl wants. Let me do this for her. You know, you're going on the first date. You're trying to figure out, oh, do you do you like this type of restaurant or this type of place? And let's I want to impress her. And no, no, no. See, that's going to make you unattractive to a woman. Making the game about you makes you more attractive to women. Meaning so if you're going on a date, you tell her, hey, listen. Um, we gonna meet at this spot at this time and that spot you're telling her to meet you at is a spot that you like You understand what I'm saying? Uh, whatever you're trying to do you're having her tag along because that's what you want to do, right? You know, you're 
hooking up with a chick and that's all you, that's all you're doing with her because that's what you want to do you feel what i'm saying you know you making the girl your girlfriend after you you know been with her for a while and all the other shit that's something that you want to do right and so what happens is is that she's supposed to follow your lead she's supposed to be a part of your program you see what i'm saying and so it's something that when a woman sees that and sees what you're about she wants she needs to look at that and say you know this guy is the type of guy that i want to be with i want to be a part of what he's doing you understand this is the direction i want to go right and so when you make it about you that makes her more attracted to you because she's like okay i want to be a part of this you see what i mean and the, the guys who make it about the woman are the ones who fuck up are the ones who are the simps the ones who women treat like shit the ones who women take advantage of the ones who women play a whole bunch of games with right because she realizes she has no one to follow she has no one to look up to you understand what i'm saying she has no one to create structure for her you see what i'm saying so you got to make sure that the game is about you make it about you and then have women follow you have the women that want to fuck with your program fuck with your program all right so that's pretty much it listen guys if you have any questions click the link below and i'll holler at you later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is gonna teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.